Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. On this October 25th, we invite you to relax, just settle back, and enjoy the work of an actor who left us much too early when he died at age 42, following complications from a botched back surgery. He's Jeff Chandler, a rugged, handsome fellow who stood six foot four inches, and during his peak years as an actor was one of the much in-demand stars at his home studio of Universal International. He was also an Academy Award nominee in the category of Best Supporting Actor. And we have that Oscar-nominated performance of his coming right up in a Jeff Chandler double feature. It's a Western we've never shown on TCM before called Broken Arrow from 20th Century Fox in 1950, done up in gorgeous Technicolor and starring James Stewart as a Civil War veteran who tries to arrange a peace between Arizona settlers and the Apache tribe, led by the famous real-life Apache leader Cochise played in the movie by Jeff Chandler. By the way, Jeff Chandler's Academy Award nomination marked the first time anybody had been an Oscar nominee for playing a Native American. And for the record, this wouldn't be the only time Chandler played Cochise. Two years after this Fox film Broken Arrow came out, Chandler's home studio of Universal cast him as Cochise in the film called The Battle at Apache Pass. Then in 1954, he played the Apache leader one more time in a cameo appearance in a Rock Hudson film called Taza, Son of Cochise. So clearly, Jeff Chandler left a mighty impression on people with his performance. The film itself made a strong impression on people, too, many praising Broken Arrow for being among the first Western to show that Native Americans were much more than scalp hunters and savages. So here in Technicolor with the cast, it also includes Deborah Paget, Will Gear, and partially shot on location in Arizona, we bring you the TCM premiere of Broken Arrow. <laughs> 